But first, let's talk about the man who came, who saw and who conquered. And then he gave it all away. Ramesh Chauhan is credited uh, with building the rated drinks market in India. More than two decades ago, at a time when Thumbs Up had more than 70% market share in the Indian soft drinks business, Chauhan had actually exited. He sold it with uh, top brands like Citra, Gold Spot, Maza and Limca, all of which uh, were then Parley products and all of them were sold to the mighty Coca-Cola. 23 years later, he's back in the game. He's spitting his Bisleri pop range of fizzy drinks against the might of the global giants, many of whom, of course, are his old rivals. So how is he likely to fare? That's our top story. He rose like a phoenix, despite selling his well-entrenched range of carbonated beverages to Coca-Cola in 1993, tirelessly rebuilding his fortunes around Bisleri. But the question is, can the cola king of the 90s recreate his magic now that he's re-entering the 14,000 crore soft drinks market with his new range of aerated beverages called Bisleri Pop? It's not the best phase for the carbonated drinks industry, which is witnessing a very sluggish growth. Even Coca-Cola was forced to shut down three manufacturing units due to lack of demand. The increasing health consciousness in the country and the growth of fruity drinks is clearly taking the fizz out of these aerated beverages. Can Ramesh Chauhan change the dynamics of this industry, one he himself was skeptical of entering six months ago? Good point. Uh, see, we are not making a cola. What we are making is a spicy cola. Now, that uh, is a variant which consumers, according to us, would love it. Because we don't like anything straight. We like everything with some masala on it. Uh, good fruit is there. You uh, put some chaat masala. So here is an opportunity of giving people something different. See, none of our four flavors are like any other flavor which is there in the market. And we are looking for a uh, excitement among the consumers who are bored with the same old cola, same old orange, same old lemon lime. Even our uh, uh, limonata doesn't taste like uh, Sprite or 7-Up. Uh, Somebody says it tastes like Citra. I said, you seem to have a damn good memory. <laughs> Something which was discontinued how many years ago? Interestingly, Chauhan's re-entry into the soft drinks market comes at a time when Coca-Cola, the number one player in the market today, has just launched its fruit with fizz drink called Fanta Green Mango. As Bissuri Pop prepares to counter Fanta Green Mango in the market, it will be interesting to find out who eventually has the advantage in this game. My approach to more players is welcoming because I believe that um, because the per capita consumption in the carbonated space is low, more players coming in creates more awareness around the category, creates more zing around the category and everybody benefits. So I, I do not feel threatened by the entry of any new player. I believe there is a room for everybody to prosper and grow. Post-acquiring Parley Beverages in 1993, Coca-Cola fizzled out some of the brands nurtured by Chauhan, like Goldspot and Citra, to make way for Coca-Cola's international brands like Fanta and Sprite. But now, more and more companies are creating innovative drinks to suit Indian tastes. Another competitor, PepsiCo, is localizing its 7-Up brand by launching a new flavor, 7-Up Nimbu's Masala Soda. But Bistleri feels it clearly has an advantage here. We have definitely a bigger advantage because we've not been in this for a long time. I feel like it's more exciting to see a company that has been doing water now suddenly come into carbonated soft drinks, I think would create more of a buzz. In terms of sales figures, we'll have to wait and watch. We have uh, made a conscious effort that our cola contains no caffeine and no phosphoric acid, which is what is very unhealthy for uh, you and which most colas will uh, contain. So we are taking the steps that we can in uh, 
making sure that our products are good. But yes, the trend is definitely going towards a, a healthier lifestyle and a healthier diet. Um, but uh, so far, the response has been really great for, towards Bisleri Pop and towards all our flavors. So I'm quite uh, excited to see how this is going to progress. While both Bisleri Pop and Fanta Green Mango campaigns are yet to hit TV screens, one would expect some epic advertising, as has been the trend in this category. The addition of Bisleri to the carbonated beverages market will definitely open up a new frontier in the existing cola ad wars between Coca-Cola and PepsiCo. It's interesting that Bisleri is coming out with its own uh, cola and I think the entire soft drink market is going to heat up uh, during summer. Uh, I'm not sure whether Bisleri will be able to match the width and depth of distribution which Coca-Cola company has today. But who knows what happens in the future. So it's going to be fun uh, in the advertising uh, business because there's going to be an advertising war once again. The consumer is going to probably have a good time, finally. And that's yeah. what marketing is all about. Bucking the trend, Chauhan plans to launch a joint campaign for all the four drinks as opposed to giving them separate identities in the first leg of the advertising journey. It will largely be focused on the digital medium and OOH, the creatives for which are being handled by Soho Square and Foxy Moron. The founders of Thumbs Up have created products which will now stand in direct competition to their iconic brand, currently owned by Coca-Cola. I am a very small time player in the carbonated beverage and our infrastructure and in terms of facilities for carbonated beverage is quite low. So, we are not going to be market shaker. Okay. Uh, we are going to try and create niche market uh, and unique flavors. They are too big and uh, 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 way ahead of us in terms of years. Mm -hmm. So, to think that way would be disastrous for us. See, you look for opportunities and you look for your strengths. Now, we feel that we have got a good distribution setup and managerial setup to handle soft drinks. Because earlier, Bisteri was very small. Now, with what Bisteri is today, I think we can proudly say at many places, we outsell uh, Coke and uh, Pepsi. But that aside, the, you have to be ready for it to uh, enter into a field. And you don't enter a field as a defense mechanism. At a time when the two top beverage makers in the country, Coca-Cola and PepsiCo, are in the pincer grasp of local soft drink makers, the entry of Bisleri International is guaranteed to stir up the marketplace. While the local players have cornered around 10 to 15% of the market with lower priced products, the question is, can Ramesh Chauhan and his competitively priced Bisleri Pop wean them away? Or does he intend to play a bigger game and cannibalize on the market share of the cola giants? One just has to wait for summer to begin and a thirsty market. Right, so while Ramesh Chauhan is back with all that fizz, the question is, can Bisleri Pop turn out to be the big disruptor for the Indian cola market? That's a space we'll be watching uh, very closely, but right now we take a quick break. When we return, we talk to the man who runs the Polish cosmetics brand Inglot. Chairman Dr. Inglot is joining us in the studio here to talk us through how they're planning to ramp up the brand's presence in India. That's coming up in a moment. Do stay with us.